Oh hi, my name is Jessica Lyon. Welcome to another Firestorm tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to our iteration and implementation of LinenLab's FUI work. FUI, commonly pronounced FUI, stands for Flexible User Interface and was designed by LinenLab for their V3 viewer. We've made some big improvements to it which make it even more flexible and customizable, including a skin that looks just like the Viewer 1 interface. So let's get started. If you log in on the default Firestorm gray skin, it should look something like this. So let me start by showing you some of the customizability options we've developed for you. If you right click, you'll notice that you've got buttons on the bottom bar and they're no longer just icons. You can actually have text labels and icons. If you right click on this, you'll notice a submenu with all kinds of different options. So let's start looking at some of these. Right now it's set at icons and labels and you'll notice that there are icons and labels. You can switch that to labels only and or icons only or you can switch this to labels only. You can also change the size of these buttons. So you can do uh, buttons fill bar which means it's going to go the full length of whatever the resolution of your screen is. You can do fixed button sizes or auto size buttons and auto size basically uh, makes it the length of the word. Each button is the length of the word. And you'll notice that they're all different sizes depending on that size of that word. Um, you can also go just icons and now it's even smaller. Another thing you can do is change the alignment, whether it's aligned to the right or to the left. If we left align it, it comes here with your chat bar. And you can move your chat bar and that will change where that sits. You can also right align it over on the other side of your screen, which is some pretty cool features. Um, so you've got alignment, left, right, center, you've got icons and labels, you've got icons only, and you've got labels only, and you've also got the choice of fixed size, which means they're all the same size, or you can do button fills, oops, button fills bar, and that goes the full length. Personally, I like to have just icons because I've gotten used to them and I like to have it aligned to the right and I like to have it auto size. So they're just very small and this gives me a lot more screen space. You'll also notice that there's buttons on the left side of your screen. Um, now this is something that this is part of Linen Labs work with the FUI project and one of the things you can do is you can click on that button and notice when I drag it, I'm clicking and dragging, and you'll notice blue on the sides of the screen and on the bottom. This means you can actually take it over and put it, say, to the right of the screen, or you can put it down at the bottom of the screen. We've also added a feature that lets you align it to the top, or to the bottom, or we've also, we've also given you the ability to use icons and labels, so you actually have a button that you could read here, let me just put it at the center, um, or labels only, so you can have just labels. I can go over here do the same thing, let's say labels only. It takes up a little bit more screen space, so you may not like that option. The nice thing about it is you can choose on how you want it to be displayed. Another thing you can do here, let me just go back to icons, let me just center line this. Now there's a lot of buttons in here I don't use, for example, this button. Let me just go back to icon and I'll just put it back over here so we can see. Now this is, if I click it, this is choose an avatar and this is really a feature for new people entering Second Life. Um, I don't use that so what I can do is right click on it and remove this button and now it's gone. If I want to add buttons, so there's different buttons, search for example. Now I don't use search, uh, I don't use the button, I use control F so I don't need that and I can remove it. And here's something else you can do. Right click on it, toolbar buttons right here. And this is part of Linen Labs implementation. You open it up and here's a list of all the possible buttons you can have or not have. The ones that are grayed out means that these buttons are already on a toolbar somewhere. The ones that aren't grayed out are buttons that you can put somewhere. So for example, if I want the build button, I can click and drag down to the bottom bar and now I have a build button. If I don't want it I can drag it back to this panel here. So this allows you to 
choose what buttons you want and it allows you to place those buttons where you want them. I like to have chat here, so now I have chat and uh, conversations window and that opens your your, your around nearby local chat. You can have that hidden if you don't want it. Um, preferences, if you want to have a preferences button, let me just put that over to the right. Now I can click that and that opens up my preferences window. Very cool stuff. So basically this is Linen Labs implementation of FUI plus our customization of FUI which gives you the ability to um, align it to the center, to the left, to the right, have icons or icon labels, um, and also uh, the size of the buttons. Now we've got some other skins, we've got a whole bunch of new skins uh, with this release, so let me just log out and we'll get back to the login page and I'll show you uh, our new uh, skin mode selection. Okay, so here we are at the login screen. Now we've got a little change here. This used to say uh, skin, it was a skin selector, and it still does that uh, to a degree, but it's somewhat changed a little bit now. Basically it chooses the settings. Um, so for different skins they'll have different settings of where things are aligned. Um, now the default is the Firestorm. We've also got Phoenix, which we might rename V1, uh, but for now we've got it named as Phoenix in this particular build that I have. We have V3, which is uh, Hitomi Starlight skins, and we've got Hybrid, which is the Meta Harper skin. Let me log into the Phoenix V1 skin, and because uh, I'm really excited about this, there's been a lot of people who wanted uh, the Viewer 1 interface, and uh, this is a skin that Z Re designed from scratch. Um, she even made all the artwork herself. Um, so let me show you that quickly. And here we are on the V1 or Phoenix, also known as Vintage Skin. For those of you who have been in Second Life for a couple of years, this is going to look pleasantly familiar. Um, you'll notice that it looks just like 1.23, and in fact the original skin for the 1.23 viewer, um, also available in the Phoenix viewer, more so the layout is just like Phoenix. So you've got media controls down here, you've got your talk and, and voice buttons here, um, AO, quick preferences is here, and you'll notice the buttons look almost just like 1.23 did. In fact, they're about as close, I think, as they're ever going to get. Um, and you can do the same things with this skin as you can do with all the others. So you can right click on the buttons and you can choose to do fixed size, you can have labels only or icons only. Um, and uh, so you can do all the same stuff that you could be you can do on the other skins, but it just looks a lot like a lot more like 1.23. The other thing, of course, is you can click and drag and relocate buttons, put them in different positions. You can change what buttons are there. So I can go to toolbar buttons and destinations doesn't exist in 1.23, so I can move that back here. Now it's gone. Um, so you can do all the same stuff. Um, it just looks and feels a lot more familiar for uh, you V1 users out there. We're hoping that you guys are really going to enjoy this uh, skin, uh, especially our Phoenix users. It was designed for you. It was designed by Zri, one of our developers, and she is a 1.23 and V1 viewer lover, and she loves the look and feel of the V1 skin, and uh, that's why you have this skin, because she was determined to make it happen. Um, so I want to show you one more skin that I'm very excited about. Uh, developed by Hitomi. It's one of her Starlight skins. So let me just log out and log into that skin. So here we are back at the login screen. To reach the Starlight skins you have to choose V3. Um, and to reach this particular skin, this is called Starlight CUI. So I can go into Preferences, Control P. I've already selected this but I'll just show you. It's right here. Starlight CUI, and you want to select that, and you'll have to restart the viewer in order to make it happen. I've already done this, so I can just go ahead and log in, and let me show you this fantastic new skin. And here we are on the Starlight CUI skin. Now, all the Starlight skins are developed by Hitomi Tiponi, and she develops them for Viewer 2, 
uh, and basically any V2, V3 iteration of the Linden Lab viewer. Um, and uh, she's been very kind and she donates them to and contributes them to us as well. This is, and, and she's got a bunch of Starlight skins, but this is the one I think that you guys are going to like the most. So if I open up Preferences, Control P, you'll notice under this skin only there is a tab called Custom Colors. And if I choose that, this allows you on this skin to customize not just how you arrange things, but the color of things. You'll notice right now the buttons are green. So for example, if I want to change that green, buttons, scroll bars, etc. in this option, I can click this and it opens a color picker to which I can choose a different color. So for example, I can choose yellow. Did you see that? I can choose red or pink or orange or any color I want and I can change dynamically change the colors of my skin and different areas of my skin so let me just open up nearby chat for example and you'll see here that we've got uh, pink buttons because I chose pink um, actually pinks probably not the best color let me do uh, let's see let me do orange just trying a few things here and emphasis text I'll make green just so you can see how that changes things button labels right now they're white let me choose I don't know blue you notice that the label now is blue up here um, and you can also change panel coloring so for example a panel background this, now this re these two require restarts but panel background which is the normal which is this area here um, I can change that to something else um, or the panel, the lighter color of the panel, so up here it's lighter, or for example if I look at the nearby chat panel, um, this is dark, this is the lighter color, so this panel background lighter can be changed, this area here can be changed to a different color as well. So this is very cool, very cool options, um, very cool things that you can do now that you couldn't do before. And uh, so we're very excited and very grateful uh, for Hitomi to be doing these skins. This is something that we hope to be able to get into all of our skins as an option for our users so you can actually completely change the way you set up your, uh, your interface. It gives you complete and total control of how it looks. And of course you can do all the same things as you can do with all the skins. You can add toolbar buttons and move things around. So there's a lot of really exciting things coming. Um, this is going to be introduced to you uh, this Sunday uh, in Firestorm FUI Beta. And uh, we're hoping that you guys are going to try it. And we really think you're going to find, uh, on top of all this customizability, um, more performance improvements and stability improvements. So we're very excited about this. Now if you want to learn more, uh, we do hold free classes which I'm sure you've seen on our message of the days during your logins uh, and we encourage you to come to them. The classes are free. Uh, they're quite fun and uplifting and even I learn stuff, although I'm certainly no expert, but um, very educational. And we have classes that are also going to be covering these skins. Uh, I'm going to provide a link, uh, a couple links actually in the description of this video uh, that you can go to. One of them will be to the class schedule. Uh, it shows you where to go to get to the classes and what time the classes are coming on. And I'll also provide some links to some other information that will be very useful to you. And I hope this video has been useful and um, I hope you're going to enjoy the new FUI interface as much as we do. Thanks for watching.